last time on our Passion Week journey. He endured it for you and I. He said, the enemy can hit me. The, the enemy can now torture me. The enemy can do that to me. So he won't have rights to do that to my children. Very few of us take time to consider what the cross really represents. It was a tool of the most brutal and humiliating execution for criminals. When we beautify ourselves with a cross or beautify our buildings with a cross, not many of us are thinking about what that cross truly represents. And that's the death, the brutal death of a man upon a cross. Now, there's three moments or three things I want to identify about this moment as Jesus carried the cross. You know, he had just suffered a brutal beating, humili humiliation at the hands of Jewish and Roman leaders. And then they asked him to carry this cross from Jerusalem to Golgotha, the place where he would ultimately be nailed to it and die a brutal death. And the craziest thing about this moment to me is that Jesus knew it was coming. In Matthew 16, verses 21 and on, it talks about how Jesus told his disciples repeatedly and plainly that he was going to go to Jerusalem to suffer and to die. In fact, many pastors spend a lot of time focused on this moment because Peter in a, a fit of religious fervor says, not so Lord, this will never happen to you. And Jesus rebuked him knowing that this was the path to true freedom for all of the world and to true relationship with God. So Jesus knew it was coming and he willingly chose to go. He willingly chose the most brutal form of death, the most humiliating death he could possibly ever experience so that we might be united with him. And it talks about that in Hebrews chapter 12, verse two, it says that for the joy set before him, knowing that we would be united with him, he chose willingly to embrace that cross, to carry it that mile and a half, and to die upon it because of the reward. We are the reward that Jesus died for. Relationship with us is what drove him to the point where he was willing to, to sacrifice his life. The cross of Christ, yes, it was a brutal form of execution that Jesus chose willingly, but he chose it for us. And he asked us to choose also to lay down our lives willingly so that we might experience the fullness of relationship with him, of walking a life out that we could never live on our own. Galatians 2.20 says it this way, I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I but Christ lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live through faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself to me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.